Hey guys, it's Lauren. This video is going to be really fun. I keep catching myself doing the same makeup looks again and again using the same products and I'm like queen of having a million products. I have all these products sent to me literally every single day and I'm just using the same thing. So I really wanted to put myself outside of my typical comfort zone and today I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions. So literally everything in my makeup routine is going to be stuff that I've never used and stuff that I typically don't use. So I feel like this is going to be really great. My goal is to hopefully stumble upon some products that I really love right off the bat and can recommend to you. And my other goal is to hopefully fall in love with some products and start incorporating them into my makeup routine every day and finally switch things up. Before we get into this, these are the winners of the last giveaway. Congratulations, enjoy. I'm gonna be sending everything out this week. And this week's giveaway will be announced at the end of this video. So if you already want to enter yourself, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment, and follow me on Instagram. It's so easy and you could literally win. Like, you know, you never know. You could actually literally win. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of these. So yeah, always keep your eyes out for that. Let's get started. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit nervous because I'm using a bunch of products I've never used. And honestly, at this point, it's like muscle memory for me when I do my makeup, you know? I'm even taking it this far. I'm not even using a beauty blender. I'm using Tarte's version of the beauty blender, whatever it is. I've heard really good things. So let's see. I'm very apprehensive. What moisturizer should I use? Oh, I haven't even prepped my skin. Ah, uh, okay. Look at this PR package that I got, guys. It looks incredible. So Too Faced came out with a whole uh, this is why I don't deserve nice things. I really don't. So, Too Faced came out with a whole skin line, and I am going tomorrow with Too Faced to the Hangover Hotel to celebrate this. So I'm making it a point to try it before I go show up, because honestly, I don't have the balls to be fake and be like, oh my god, I love it. Like, I totally love the product. Meanwhile, I've like never tried it before. <laughs> so this perfect timing for me to try it for the first time because tomorrow I'm going and tomorrow I'm getting picked up and then we get to the hotel and it's me and a couple other influencers and we're just like staying there for one night and that's it. I have a feeling that the goal is to get everybody lit. I mean, they're calling it the hangover hotel. We're there for one night. So I'm like, do I need to buckle up or what's gonna happen? But let's open this up and see what we got. Let's start with the SPF moisturizer. I'm a little bit particular with my SPFs. It has to have, you know, a certain consistency, a certain feeling for me to like it. So I'm a little bit more picky with SPFs because I wear them every single day regardless of if I'm wearing makeup or not, and I will say this feels wonderful. Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited. I'm getting my sideburns lasered off. They're a huge insecurity of mine. because They just like always grow in and I'm always doing weird things to them. I'm getting them lasered. I cannot wait. So it doesn't smell like an SPF at all. It smells, I don't know what the smell is. I want to say peach. I could be completely wrong, but it doesn't smell like an SPF and it doesn't feel too pasty or like a glue, which is what I always try to avoid in my SPF. All right, let's get in. Should I try this? The, I mean, it says it's for priming, so let's do that. Let's prime the skin, girls. I love priming. Yes, okay. I'm uh, I just swallowed it. I love filming these kind of videos because I get to just like hang out with you and talk to you about whatever, which is great because y'all keep me very entertained. Okay, so today we're gonna be going in with the Tarte Face Tape Foundation. Obviously I've used the Tarte Shape Tape, but their foundation is called Face Tape. That is so excessive. I definitely did not need that much product, um, okay. I'm not used to this beauty blender and it's, I have foundation in my hair now. <sighs> Ew, that's not, 
That's not cute. Why did I, why did I do that? Okay, this foundation feels good. Um, the only thing I will say is that it's not really matching because I did the at-home tan, so that's my bad. And now there's foundation all in my hair because I'm not used to this thing. Let me see if this helps. Oh, let me just stop this video and say, first of all, nothing in this video is sponsored like at all. Second of all, I think this is a must-have product. I am obsessed with it. I got it at Urban Outfitters. It's called the Magic Hair Wand, and it's for your baby hairs. And it really just helps me look way more put together if I have a ponytail or if my baby hairs are just wildin'. You just kind of brush it and they stay. It's amazing. I am Latina. I have baby hairs for days and they were out of control. And now with this like little thing, it has been a game changer. It's not removing the foundation from my hair, but that's not its job. So I understand. My go-to concealer is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And today I'm gonna be trying the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Sculpting Concealer. So, wait, what? Why is it literally brown? What? I remember getting this to use it as a contour concealer. And when I saw it in the packaging, I'm like, okay, great, I could try this concealer. Anyways, okay, change of plans. We're gonna be trying the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. So, obviously, that would have hurt. So, obviously, Tarte Shape Tape is you know the best i love it it's the best thing ever but i'm curious to see what tarts creaseless concealer would be like um ugh, i have no idea what my skin color is now because i tampered with it so much last night that i'm like um hello literally what is my shade it's all it's all a guess it's all a guess so this one's a really tiny applicator which is very different from shape tape which has that big old applicator so let's see it feels kind of thick like really thick oh I think I kind of like it okay honestly when I put it on my skin I was like this is not good <laughs> I don't know why that was my first impression I thought it was not gonna blend out but this is great so thank god because I am going somewhere today so I don't want to just like have a little arts and crafts game on my face right now and go out looking stupid. I am going to eat cheap sushi after this. We love that. I have the spot, guys. It's called Sushi Stop. It's like not expensive, but so delicious. It's nothing schmancy. It's nothing crazy, but it excites me more than many things. It truly does. It's my spot. Yeah, when you're applying this, it does not seem promising. Like, look, you know, I, I'm just used to shape tape. So when I'm putting this on, I'm like, what is happening? But it works and it works great. Comment down below if you're doing anything cool this summer. Like, where are you traveling? What are you doing? Fill me in because I kind of have like a lot planned for this summer and I'm obviously taking you along with me. Hello. On my agenda, so I told you guys tomorrow I'm going with Too Faced to the Hangover Hotel. So that should be probably exactly what it sounds like. I'll let you know how that goes. And then I'm going to New York twice this month. My friend is getting an apartment in New York, so I'm gonna go like help him move in and stuff. He helped me a lot when I moved into this apartment. So it'll be good for me to go do the same for him. And then I'm going to New York again this month for for like a work thing. Um, let me know if you want me to do a meet and greet in New York. I would be totally down for that. Honestly, I don't have another powder, so we're going in with our typical milk powder. Sorry. <laughs> I don't typically go for the purples when I'm doing my eyeshadow. For some reason, I'm more towards the pinks and the burgundies. So that's why I thought it would be great to try out this palette. It's the Too Faced Natural Lust palette. And when I opened it, I noticed a lot of purple. So in the spirit, why when I look at it right now, do I not see like any purple? Uh, okay, oops. You know, yeah, there's like, why was I like thinking it was gonna be super purple? And I haven't used a Too Faced palette in forever. Like I don't even remember what their formulas are like. It's been so long. So that'll be good. I have not, I literally, I think the last palette I used was like the peach palette forever ago. So this should be fun. 
And I have these ColourPop pressed glitters that they sent me and I've kind of just been like seeing them in my makeup cabinet and never using them. So I'm like, today is your day, girls. You, you get to make it out of the packaging. Ah! me. There's just something so satisfying about having a brand new palette. It doesn't smell like anything, but isn't this the most satisfying thing? Like just some beautiful new colors to play around with. I love that. Maybe I should come out with a palette one day. No, seriously, I would love to do that. If any brand out there would like to partner with me. <laughs> yeah, anyways, okay. So, oh, these names are fun. Makeups, product names are always so sexual. And I'm like, I mean, okay, like, spank me. I don't know, there's, yeah, they're, they're nasty. These names are a little, but we love that. Wish me luck. Wow, so there is no fallout, which is amazing. I haven't used Too Faced eyeshadow in so long. Literally zero fallout, which I was worried about because it's such a bright color. I mean, granted, I did spray the brush with setting spray, but that went on wonderfully. Yeah, that was super quick, super easy. Great to apply. Okay, dope, all good things. We love that, we love that, we love that. So looking at my face in the mirror, I will say the Tarte Face Tape Foundation is more full coverage than I'm used to. I get how this one would be good for like a full beat glam or for like a night out but I would go with a more natural one for the daytime. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of what it's doing around the nose area. Yeah. So I'm gonna blend out this with something a little bit softer, maybe to like these cute little pink colors. There's a lot of cute pink colors in this palette. A lot of cute nudes, some sparkly, some not. We love that, we, we do. So let's try out these ColourPop pressed glitters. I'm gonna just be bold today. I'm gonna do the dark purple one. I don't do purple, but what if this is like my new thing? And we all experienced it and be birthed together. Yeah, I don't know. This looks super fun. I can't wait to go eat cheap sushi with incredibly purple glitter eyes. That's my mood. Yeah, wow. This glitter really opens the eye right up. Do you see the difference between this and this? It's like exactly what this look needed. Yes, yes. I'm so excited to keep doing this makeup look because I have so many new products. Like so many good new products, like products that I really wanna see the tea. Cause I've seen a lot of them on YouTube and I'm like, you know what? I wonder if that's actually good. Okay, this is gonna be really fun. I'm excited for this. So Beyonce's makeup artist, Sir John, came out with a collaborational, pal collaborational palette. Is that a word? I definitely made that up. Came out with a collaboration with this brand Luminous and it's the Lion King themed. Okay, so it's Disney, it's Sir John, and it's Lumina. So we got three big forces joining together to make like this whole collection. So they sent me the whole thing and I was like, oh my God, like Beyonce's makeup artist, I'm gonna lie, like, I'm popping. Honestly though, I was like, I'm I'm popping. Anyway, so this is the six piece sculpting palette. So this is what we're gonna be using to contour today. These are the colors that we got going on. The packaging is so beautiful and fun, like a little Lion King moment. We absolutely love that. The colors look nice. Oh, the names are all Lion, Lion King themed. That's so cute. Kasai, Pumba, Dusk, Cub, Marula, Heritage. Oh, adorable. And I'm gonna be using my new brush from e.l.f. I love e.l.f. I think their products are so affordable and so realistically priced. Even if you're not in LA, I'm sure you've heard of these earthquakes all over social media because everybody and their mother is posting about this. But I'm from Florida, okay? My ground does not shake in Florida. I'm not used to this. I'm not built for this. We have hurricanes down there. But the good thing about hurricanes is you get a week notice. You get two weeks notice. You know that it's coming. It's on the TV. You prepare. You can leave. You can board up your house. Like there's things you can do preventatively. With earthquakes, they just happen. And it's terrifying. When the earthquake came, I was like, ah, everything was shaking. Like everything was shaking. It lasted so long. So July 4th, there was an earthquake that I felt and I was like, oh my God, that's an earthquake. Like that's crazy. But July 5th, girl, it was shaking for a while. I was just on my couch like, this is an earthquake. 
And I'm like, yo, this is two days in a row. Then there was like more after that one, like more little like aftershocks. I'm like, is the big one like coming or, you know? I mean, I am going to New York twice this month. So hopefully things pop off while I'm on the other side of this country. But it's a little scary. Are you guys prepared? Are you worried? Are you just not in LA and you're just watching it all from a distance? Let me know. Let me know down below. Do you have any stories of natural disasters? I do. When I was like nine, a hurricane completely like destroyed my house. Okay, let's get to browse. I'm really excited to try this out because on the packaging, it looks really good and it's NYX. So it's affordable, which I love. Sometimes these eyebrow products are like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I'm like for eyebrows, what? But you know this is affordable, which is great. So it's called Fill and Fluff. Amazing fluffing brush. Wow, so this is for like that fluffy effect. Look, look this girl down here. You see that? I love that. I'm super into like a fluffy brow. Let's get this open. Crank that soldier boy. What? Why, Why did I choose to say that? Um, okay. Whoa, look at this applicator. Oh my God, this looks like it's everything. Like totally can get in there and make a nice fluff. Okay. I see you, NYX Cosmetics. You're out here making moves. I support it. I will say it is a little weird going in for the brows and not having a spoolie at the end of the eyebrow thing, but I have a feeling this is gonna be major tea. Let's see, let's, let's play with this one. I'm excited. Wow, okay, this is dope. You know those spoolies, like how they leave that white stuff everywhere, you know what I'm talking about? Like, if I were to use this, for example, I don't know what the white things are, but they just go everywhere, and then sometimes they get in the makeup, and you have to push them all around. This is not that, my friends. This rocks. Okay, NYX. This little eyebrow thing really did it for me. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm definitely keeping this in my makeup bag. I could get used to Take two. Okay, my look is coming out so cute. Can I just say that? It's coming out really good. Yes, okay. Woo, another day, another slay. Brand new products, didn't stop me. Still coming through with a bomb ass look. Bitch, I got skills. I got skills. Anyway, so you know that I'm obsessed with my Fenty Beauty highlighter. It's just so good. I love that thing, it's amazing. But I found this one today. It's the Too Faced. Glover Puppy Love Highlighter, and the packaging is super cute. It's like a little dog. Cruelty free, we love that. Um, let's, let's see how she is. Okay, cute. So this one is a little bit warmer than the Fenty Beauty one. The Fenty Beauty one is a little bit more of a pearl, and this one is giving me more yellow gold and I'm not mad about it. I wouldn't say one is necessarily better than the other. They are very different from each other. So yeah, it would be like comparing apples to oranges, but I do like this. I do like this. You know what? With my skin tone, it actually looks wonderful. I want to say the Fenty one applies better, a little bit less chalky, but this one looks great with my skin tone, so it's good to know that I have this now. It, it looks great. Okay, cool. We like her, we like her. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Jelly Pop blush blush, and I'm honestly a little worried. I'm worried this is gonna ruin the look because I didn't realize this was a liquid thing. So I see what they're going for. It's probably beautiful for a beached, more natural look. I'm just scared to put this on top of the heavy foundation that I have. Whoa, this is so cool. Okay, so I see the jelly vibes, because it's the jelly pop. Oh, it smells great. Should I just do it? Ah! Let me just do it. Wow. Wow! And this is why I'm trying new things, guys. I love it! Wow, it's beautiful. It looks like dewy. It works on top of the foundation. Like, this side of my face just looks so pretty and pink. Okay, I love it, I love it, thank God. I was really worried about that. Wow, love this, cute. Okay, come on, Elf. Wow, I was not expecting that to look so good. I just got this, it's literally still in its packaging, so it's the NYX 
Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Lip Conditioner. As you know, I mean, unless you live under a rock, apparently there's a lot of benefits for your skin, for the makeup in cannabis and things like that. So I'm like, okay, 2019 is a very interesting time. So this is the Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Lip Conditioner. This is probably gonna be fire. Oh wow, that feels very hydrating. Okay, cool. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, my lips were a little crusty, dusty, musty, not gonna lie. They've, they've just been like, not the best because I've been like traveling and stuff, which is the worst for your lips. And this feels great. It almost has a tiny bit of a tingle, but nothing uncomfortable. And it instantly gives you a feeling of hydration. I'm gonna use this Lippy from Bare Minerals. Yo, a lot of people have been saying that Bare Minerals is like so good. I feel like it's such an OG brand and it's easy to forget about it because you think of those commercials from like when we were kids. But you know, their stuff is great. I low key want one of their powders. Bare Minerals, if you're watching us, let me powder. And no big deal, let me know. But like, send me, send me some, please. <laughs> Thanks. What's that smell? Is that chocolate? I can't tell. There's a very strong smell to this. Not in a bad way, but it's there. That is really pink, huh? Um, okay. Oh no, I do not. I do not like this color on me. Probably looks great on other skin tones, but I do not feel like myself right now. Yeah, the formula's fine. It's just that color with this look. Too pink. Let's get another color. Let's, let's tone this down three notches. There we go. Yeah, I can live with that. That's way more my vibe. All right, I'm gonna throw on these lashes and then we will talk. Don't forget to watch this video to the end so you can see what I'm giving away. I am confident you're gonna want it, so stick around for that. I didn't have any like new eyelashes that I've never used, so I'm gonna just go in with my Ardell Mega Volume. I've been really liking these recently, but I recently just had a bunch of brands send me eyelashes, so I'll have a bunch of new things to try and switch it up for the eyes. All right, let me go put these on. I'm bored and I felt like talking to you because I'm so bored. Um, wow, this eye looks so much bigger than that eye. Anyways, I'm bored. And all I can think about is how much I want my sushi. Like, literally no one and then me. Like, I really want my sushi. Let me tell you what I'm gonna get. At this cheap sushi spot, which I'm going to now once I get this lash on. Like, I just wanna get this lash on so I can get this food in my stomach. I feel like I put all this effort into my eye look and this is a complete barrier. You can't even see it. I'm like, why did I just spend so much time to install a blockade? I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm hungry. Ignore me. All right, guys. Wow, that was so much fun. I'm so glad that I did this video. I've discovered so many new products and I can actually like change up my makeup routine. Like, honestly, I loved like mostly all of this and I wasn't necessarily expecting that. So thank you guys for out with me today while I did this beat. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I had a great time just hanging out with you. So thanks for keeping me company once again, as you always do. Don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up. Oh, enter yourself in the giveaway. Ooh, that's coming up. Okay. Stay tuned. So I'm giving away almost $500 worth of skincare and makeup and all of these products are amazing and I know you're going to love it. This could all be yours. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment, just do it right now. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And I might be sending this stuff to your house. Ah! Thank you guys for hanging out. Let me know down below which of these products that I've tried, you've tried. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the last step. So the last step is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I've had this forever and I haven't tried it. I'm like, I bet this is good. So it's like for above or on top of makeup, it's supposed to make you look dewy. I don't like see any difference, but I'm sure it's great. Okay, <laughs> anyways, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love you guys.